Ni hao. Sui ji hao ma. Hello, everybody. And that was a Chinese greeting that I learned from Peggy, uh, my friend. And I kind of dedicate this video to her because I've been learning so much Chinese from her. And if you're interested in learning some, uh, please don't hesitate to go to Peggy Teaches Chinese right here on YouTube. And uh, I think you'll find her to be a very charming and likable young lady. And you'll also be amazed at how fast you learn Chinese from the principles that te she teaches. And I, being a business person in the business community, if I were to recommend a language you'd want to learn, Chinese would definitely be in my top three. So um, in the changing, the fast changing world that we live in today, I definitely recommend learning Chinese. So anyway, uh, that was sort of a preface to my video about Chinese currency. And as you can see, I have a big old stack of Chinese currency here. And I want to explain it to you. First of all, this is older currency. This is the currency that's used in China today. And as you can see, it has a, a prominent picture of Mao on it. Now, this currency is from the 80s, but I really think it's really cool. It's not too hard to get these sets, but uh, some of the uh, last bills in the set are a little bit harder to find. So anyway, um, this is a one Zhao note, and it has two Taiwanese men on it. And as you'll see, these notes are all about integrating all of the many different and diverse groups of people who live in China by giving them all a place on the money, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, on the back, there's the coat of arms of China. And I think it's really artfully done too. So uh, the next bill is a two Zhao note. And um, it has a native Puyi and a Korean youth on the front. And um, once again, the coat of arms on the back. So once again, this is all about bringing together different cultures that live in a very diverse country. I've got quite a few of these. Um, this is a five Zhao note. And on this note, we have a uh, Miao and Shuang children. And, uh, and on the back, the coat of arms again. Let's get a good look at that. And I hope Peggy's watching so she could probably correct my pronunciations. <laughs> so, um, this is a one one, which is like the uh, primary denomination. Zhao is like uh, the uh, fractional currency, whereas this is the uh, the primary. And um, on this, there is a Dong and Yao youth. And a really great picture of uh, <laughs> the Great Wall of China on the back which I'm sure you'll all recognize. So uh, that's just a really awesome bill. Okay. This is a 2 wan, And on the front we have a picture of a uh, Heiger and Yi Yin youth. And um, on the back we have um, some birds over a rocky shoreline. Uh, and this is supposed to be taking place in the South Sea. Okay, this is a 5-1 note, and there's a, um, a man from Tibet and an Islamic woman on the front. And on the back, this is the um, Yangtze uh, Gorges River and a, with a little boat, a tiny boat there. And I'm probably mispronouncing this really bad. Okay. Now, this is a tin wan note. Uh, on the front, there's an elder Han man and a youthful Mongolian boy on the front. And as you can see, there is a lot of different cultures to bring together because China encompasses so much. And here's the back with a uh, nice mountainscape. Okay. Now, this is a uh, 50 wan note. And on the front, there is uh, the pictures of the labor force. And you have uh, a professor, a uh, rice worker, and a miner on the front to sort of uh, 
to uh, show the different occupations. Incidentally, this is a very, uh, if you are into collecting Chinese currency, this is a fairly hard note to find. And on the back, there's a nice picture of a waterfall. Okay. And finally, um, this is the 100 won note. And on the front, we have a picture, a profile of uh, Chairman Mao. Next to him is Lin Bao. Uh, and then two other um, uh, members of the uh, Chinese Communist Party who uh, founded China. And um, on the back, yet another mountainscape. So anyway, and of course, all of these bills have the uh, Chinese coat of arms. And this is also a very hard note to find if you were collecting Chinese currency. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. As you know, uh, I'm, I uh, love Chinese culture and I like to uh, collect things. And uh, so this is some of my uh, Chinese currency. I have a, a, a lot more I can show you in different uh, videos. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it somewhat educational. And please uh, check out Peggy Teaches Chinese. So uh, have a good day. Bye.